All right, guys, uh, just to let you know, I've um, just got back from the uh, anti-Trident protest at Reading. Um, <clears throat> we had people from all over England pop, out, pop in, you know, and uh, make their presence known. Been walking around the perimeter, uh, and uh, there's been speeches and what have you. So what I've done, I've uh, got a few bits and bobs together. I'm just going to stick them together, let you have a look at them, and uh, basically, you can enjoy the uh, enjoy the day as well as we did. Uh, free, you know, there's a well, free tea, but there was tea, um, cakes, and biscuits, and all the rest of it, and sandwiches. Uh, they were, you know, sort of free basically, but uh, you know, donation type thing. They put a donation pot there. Um, yeah, every, really good day. A bit cold, uh, but I think everybody enjoyed it. It was uh, there's plenty of uh, chanting, singing, and uh, general uh, general um, sort of uh, demonstration. Um, so anyway, I'll get the uh, bits and bobs together now. You can have a good look at it. Uh, I'm going to post it up on Nuclear News as well, and uh, I've, uh, I've got some pictures, so I'll probably just I'm going to play around with the video, see if I can just put the pictures in, and you can have a look at them. Uh, at your own leisure. Um, I'll probably uh, uh, put some pictures on the uh, article I put on Nuclear News. So if you want to, if you see yourself or if you if you like the picture, you can uh, download it and have a look at it and do whatever you edit it and uh, whatever. Uh, Faces. In fact, quite a lot of old faces, actually, um, and some young faces who weren't even born when we started. People with the old faces. We have had wonderful demonstrations around this country against war at different times. You remember the ones against the Boer War? We were all very active in those days. Life goes on. We do make some progress. Things begin to happen, and we're here today to make sure they continue to happen in a very positive way. Uh, when I came back from Australia a long time ago, someone said politics means what they what they call a cold weather politics. And I said, what do you mean by that? Well, lick your finger, stick it in the air, see which way the wind is blowing, and your politicians will go in that direction. And that's exactly politics today. It's not party politics, with all respect to Walter Wolfgang, it's what the people of this country want. People want to get re-elected, of course they do. If they see we put our finger in the air, see it's getting the winds in that direction, the majority's in that direction, then the party moves its policy in that direction. And our job is to make sure that the population of this country move with us on trial. This is where everybody's going to hate me. Um, T-shirts, marches, demos, direct action, Occupy movements haven't achieved their objectives. And petitions mostly, mostly go in the bin. Um, you can take the case of Owen Patterson the other day when he received 80,000 emails complaining um, that he hadn't, he failed to support the EU ban on neonicotinide pesticides. He called it a cyber attack, not concerned citizens voicing their views. We need to sharpen our campaigning act. We need to get out our claws. We need to get out our claws. Democracy means government by the people, for the people. Way. Um, millions of people died in two world wars so that we could have it and freedom of the spe speech which we're exercising at this, po at this point but it's unfinished business it's slipping through our fingers look at Iraq look at you know the Britain's nuclear renaissance the only most politicians and I say most because we've got one of the exceptions here right with us today um, are a vested interest group only in politics to get re-elected. The only thing that they take notice of is something that threatens their chances of re-election. The phenomenal amount of money they're planning to waste on Trident is an election issue. 
What we need is for everyone here to write to their MPs and tell your friends to do the same. Telling them that you won't vote for them next time unless they represent your views on Trident in Parliament. Tell them you don't want some mealy-mouthed reply either explaining why we need it. We don't. And we'll be watching them. It's our responsibility to act intelligently now to rein in this irresponsible expenditure of taxpayers' money. Contact your local MP today. And for any of us who don't know who our MP is, go to theyworkforyou.com and enter your postcode. It'll tell you. And you can also track how they vote and the questions they ask and how they behave in Parliament from that site. It's fantastic. Thank you very much. Sorry, ran over. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Catherine. And now...